Thinking a lot about things that are beyond our control. The unknown, the not knowing. The deepest thing that I know to be true. Our need to know ourselves and the need for freedom. That search, that's the most exhilarating thing. And those moments where that freedom feels real, it feels tangible, that's what keeps us creating. That's what keeps us honest. That's what keeps us curious. There's a suspense when I'm making that first mark and it happens every single time, no matter how many times I start a drawing. When it's there, I know I'm being authentic and what's gonna happen is gonna be really true. Being able to have the, the confidence to know that wherever it wants to move is beyond my control has been sort of one of the, the most important and powerful parts about drawing for me. <laughs> I, I think if the line wants to do anything in my work, it wants to be free. Yeah, say it from like a really kind of like you've just mm. learned the deepest thing in your life. <laughs> For me, like sharing stories is a sort of activism in a way. Connecting to other lonely people about, you know, things that we all go through and like how do we talk about that and how do you kind of get someone in. So this is all about the history of the neighborhood. How long did it take you to do this piece? Um, I did this in about seven hours. I go there and I freestyle. It's like jazz improv or something. It's like a hip hop freestyle. It's like I really want to capture that messiness, those mistakes, that magic all at once while I'm drawing. Seeing what works is like throwing spaghetti at the wall. Sometimes things don't work, sometimes they do. All that is the accumulation of every time I touch the, the paper or the wall of my pen. Like my friend Akila says, we're not always gonna be cute and relevant forever. So, so why not say something?